Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to solve the projection of lines problem, case 5, problem number 5. Let's see the question. Line or yes, having a length of 60 mm, one of the end is 10 mm in front of VP and 20 mm above the HP. Another end is 45 mm in front of VP. The top view line length is 45 mm. Draw the projections and find the front view length and end projector distance. Also find the trace. Let's see the given data. They are giving the true length. So that is true length of the line or yes is equal to 60 mm and one of the end is 10 mm in front of VP. So that is nothing but our locus of R. Locus of R is equal to 10 mm and uh, the same end is 20 mm above the HP. That is nothing but R dash. Locus of R dash is equal to 20 mm. Similarly, they are giving the uh, another end is 45 mm in front of VP. That is nothing but they are giving uh, another end. Another end is nothing but uh, yes. Right. So that is in front of distance. Another end of the locus. Yes is equal to 45 mm. And the top view line length also they are giving. So that is nothing but small letter or yes. That is 45 mm. Uh, let's proceed the problem with the known detail. Draw the x, y and mark the VP, HP. Uh, see the given data. Let's mark the locus of R dash. That is 20 mm above the HP. Similarly, mark the locus of R. That is 10 mm in front of the VP. After marking the locus of R dash and the locus of R, now check the given data. Uh, yeah, we are having uh, one more locus detail also. Uh, that is locus of yes. The value, the distance is uh, 45 mm. Right. So from the XY, measure 45 mm and uh, draw that locus line and name it. Yeah, that is our locus of yes. Now check the given data. Yeah. Uh, we are having our top view length that is nothing but r yes yeah small letter r yes uh, take the distance in compass from r make a arc in the locus of yes that is our point small letter s and connect the rs with the help of a hp pencil that's it and we are also having the true length yeah they are giving the true length detail uh, that is 60 mm. Now from small letter point R take 60 mm in compass and make one more arc in the locus of S. That intersection point is S2. Yeah. Connect R and S2 with the help of a Hatch pencil. This is our top view true line. That's it. Up to now, we have completed the given informations. Yeah, let's proceed. Uh, we are having more informations in the top view. <laughs> that is, uh, we are having the top view line RS as well as we are having the top view true line that is RS2. Uh, either you can go with uh, true line endpoint or top view line endpoint. Now I am going with my top view line endpoint that is from point S, I am going to continue the diagram. Yeah, point S, we can able to draw the projector line. Okay, that is a very uh, easy step. So from the point S, draw one vertical line. And just extend it because we don't know the locus of S dash. So no issues, just extend it. And then uh, RS is nothing but an apparent line. Ah, ah, ah. So then what is the first step? If it is apparent line means A. Ah. Yeah, that's it. We have to make an arc and then we have to draw the perpendicular line. So now I am making an arc here. R as my center. R to S as a radius. 
I am making an arc up to locus of R. Then I am drawing a perpendicular line. Uh, we don't know the exact location of locus of S dash, so no issues, just extend it. Right. Now I am going with my true line end point that is S2. Uh, what is the first step if you are processing with the true line means? True line. True line means first we have to draw the perpendicular line and then we have to make a arc. Yeah, that's it. Uh, what is the sequence? I think you may know the sequence uh, from locus of S and then locus of R dash and then locus of S dash. Right. Now I am drawing a perpendicular line from locus of S to locus of R dash. And then I am going to rotate that line. Yeah, that intersection is named as uh, uh, S2 dash. If you want, you can note down it. R dash as a center. R dash to S2 dash is my radius. And I am rotating, rotating, rotating. If you are rotating, yeah, what is going to be happen? Yes that rotating arc will make an intersection in the projector line yeah we have already drawn the projector line from point s that intersection is our s dash that's all okay right now connect the s dash and the r dash and draw that locus and name it that is our locus of s dash and then yeah, one more intersection is also there. That is, yeah, that is our front view true line. That end point is named as S1 dash. Now join R dash and S1 dash. That is our true line. That solve. After completing the diagram, now just measure and mark all the details. That's it. Uh, now I am marking the front view apparent line and true line angles. Similarly, now I am marking the top view apparent line as well as true line angles. Uh, let's mark the trace. Uh, in this question, they are asking the trace value also. Uh, I hope you may saw the previous trace concept video. Now I am extending the front view line that is R dash S dash towards the X Y and note down the intersection point that intersection is point H okay uh, similarly extend the top view line that is small letter R small letter S line okay uh, extend it towards the X Y and uh, note down the intersection point that is V now from H draw one vertical line this line will intersect at the produced line okay that is our horizontal trace point repeat the same okay just repeat the same for the point v and you will find the vertical trace. also we need to find the front view line okay just measure the front view line length uh, that is uh, 49 mm also, uh, they are asking the end projector distance that is 28 mm. Okay, see here now I am measuring the distance between the R R dash to S S dash. Okay, this horizontal distance is known as end projector distance. Also, we have to measure the vertical trace distance from the X Y line that is uh, 8.65 mm. Okay, approximately that is 8.65 mm. Uh, similarly, we have to mark the horizontal trace distance uh, that is also 7.65 mm. Right, uh, that's all. Bro. Thank you. Thanks for learning here. Uh, thumbs up if you like our video. Okay, <laughs> that makes me happy. You can.